friends, welcome to the Full Moon in Aquarius video. Okay, first of all, there's a video for this week, an energy video. If you skipped that and went right to this, just go ahead and watch it first. It's there. I mean, it, it could be first. It doesn't have to be first. I'm just saying it's there and it has a lot more information. There might be some repeat stuff, um, but, you know, it's just good to cover your bases. The Full Moon in Aquarius. Ooh, it's in Leo season. So they're opposites, right? Leo and Aquarius. What is the full moon Aquarius really wanting us to know? It's the friend zone. At least the 11th house is like the friendship house or like large groups of people, networks, stuff like that. So we could ask ourselves, um, what is coming to the surface as it relates to our friendships and our relationships? And has the Leo new moon two weeks ago, uh, or two weeks prior to the full moon, made it all, um, ha has that new moon made it all me, 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 to the point that we're not taking care of our friendships anymore? Are there friendships that are ending because they're not, relationships that are ending because they're not um, good for you anymore? If that's the case, they're ending at the right time. This full moon is serving, how are you taking care of your relationships? And how do your relationships shape who you are and what you will create in the world? Um, Aquarius, the water bearer, right, is like the great humanitarian. It's about the collective. I'm pulling from the dream deck today because there's been a lot of repeated messages about the subconscious, um, dream work. So here we are, we're just back into dream, dreamland. Let's see what we got. Lucid in reverse. Okay, feeling a little lucid, out of touch here. Out of touch just a little bit. Honestly, that could be Aquarius energy, inspiration. Okay, we need to rekindle our inspiration. This is showing up in reverse. This could be a need for energetic movement and the OA. This is about shadow work. Again, if you did not watch this week's energy video, go watch it. It's I can't put it up again, actually. So you're going to have to go back or just go to my channel page. Lucid, inspiration, and the OA. This is really saying that they're, this is a detached feeling. And Aquarius is sort of detached emotionally, like big like this. Um, and I said this already in the other video, but it's, it's this need to take a step back, back into yourself. And it's not because we always need space from other people, you know, uh, we feel safe in groups. So there's a reason for relationships to exist in our life. Um, I guess Aquarius really just wants us to understand who we are in the context of that. How have your relationship experiences shaped how you see the world and your expression in it? Release anything that's old or outdated. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords underneath. The end of a painful cycle. What has been happening in your life that is just like, cannot, this cannot move on, move forward anymore. Something is just, wha-bam, being cut out. Four of Swords underneath and the Queen of Wands. And Okay, fine. This is, this is what I'm talking about, the Eight of Wands, really, really fast energy. And we do have in, a little bit of inspiration, right, with the Queen of Wands is showing up here. But how are you becoming inspired is through stillness and meditation, this return to self. Nine of Swords. Sure, this could be anxiety and what keeps you up at night, but I, like, I, I actually take this as, um, I'm taking this as messages coming in your sleep. Again, dream work. Dream work is very loud right now, for me at least, so I will do my best to translate what that is for you guys. Or maybe it's for you too. Have you been having... Lucid is also like a kind of, like lucid dreaming. Let's see, okay. Let me know in the comments if you're having weird dreams or having trouble sleeping. Oh, sorry, then we have, so Knight of Swords, King of Cups, Knight of Wands, Four of Cups, Ace of Wands, Inspiration about your feelings. So you did do the work last week. You did, maybe because you watched the video, the emotions as evidence, you were paying attention. 
So then you know. Queen of Swords, the Hermit, the King of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. You know, so now you know what to do about it. I think you're, there is, um, for how the top three cards showed up, this, this right here, all in reverse, saying you're out of touch with yourself. You need to find some, find your inspiration, find the fuel and do the shadow work. This all came out sort of saying it like, like this, but I actually think that you are doing the work. It's very apparent. Um, if something is worrying you or has worried you in the past, I feel like you've done the necessary work to avoid situations that would be adding to that stress. Whatever has been stressful in the last week or in the last in the, in the past here, you're kind of over it. She literally says over it on her sweater. She's rejecting that cup. Um, in favor of doing the inner work. Brilliant. So now that you've mastered your emotions and learned something from it, you now know how to influence the kind of change you want to see. So what's, what's, what's here in the future? It looks like there's a serving of some boundaries, right? We have the Queen of Swords. She's highly intellectual, but equally compassionate. So what does it mean to move forward with that level of um, tact? And if I may, grace. Tact and grace, like strategy. Um, the Three of Pentacles leads me to believe that although this, there's actions you need to do for yourself. These boundaries are not the kind that exclude people. They're the kind of boundaries that let others know you are deciding to honor yourself in this and that way, and that you welcome the opportunity for interaction and collaboration on those terms. You want to move forward. I want to know more about this collaboration. This is actually really s strengthening your relationships by removing yourself from, um, I'll say sort of like collective patterns. If you're in a relationship, a friendship, romantic, otherwise, and you've been, it's like a long-term thing, or at least long-term enough where there, you have your patterns, you have your like, you do this and I do that. This full moon is shaking that up a little bit. And I think that's the purpose for detaching yourself um, is to find more of your truth. I just stopped shuffling, there's judgment underneath. That's the crossroads, it's a decision. You can wake up tomorrow and choose to do things differently. I do all the time. I can make a different choice tomorrow. And I let that sort of give me some peace of mind about the choices I made today. You know. Um, but those, the, the people who will understand what the Queen of Swords has to say, whatever message you deliver with this energy, those are your people. They will understand and they will stay. They might not agree with you. It might be upsetting. But if they stay, that's your thing. All right, collaboration. Just give me a few more messages around collaboration. We have the star. So something healing this week with the full moon. That's Aquarius. You know, this reading felt too easy. And part of me wants to like dig deeper into some something hidden, something other. But then I, when I see the star, I sort of like had to stop dead in my tracks. It is about healing something for yourself. And this is Aquarius just coming out saying like, it is actually simpler than you think. Doing the work is actually much simpler than we make it out to be. We call it the work and it's not always comfortable, but the process of stillness is quite simple. It's not complex. Your truth can be simple too. The Wheel of Fortune. 
how ominous the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is so deep in my studies, I'm still sort of getting into it. But my favorite meaning of the Wheel of Fortune when I see it is not divine timing or, you know, um, cycles and change, which is obviously true. Like the lunation is a big cycle that we're experiencing. But like, why do you ask the question that you ask? What is there to know more of? There's always more to know, but the, the, the full moon is a completion. And so you have to honor wherever you are at at the moment and uh, resist any feelings of unfinished business. Just complete it to the best of your ability. Whatever it is was your experience of the last two weeks or of the six, last six months, why do you ask the question you ask? And I asked to clarify this collaboration card. <laughs> the Empress. A commitment to the body, a commitment to the land, to yourself, recommitting to yourself, opening your heart and your own ability to receive. Receive your own attention for a while. Stop seeking outside validation. Yeah, that just it, it just tells me that we're we're sort of beating a dead horse here with the tarot messages. We'll leave it at that. Do you dislike the comfort of going out on your own, like going out on a limb? I think this is really, um, this is energy that is wanting us to trust ourselves. It's time to handle your shit. It's time. It's time to move forward. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Give this a like, a share, do the thing so I can keep doing the thing that I really enjoy. Thanks so much and I'll see you on the next video.